Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm feeling a little better uh, myself, so I figured I'd mow the lawn. I haven't done it in three weeks. We didn't have any rain until just recently, and then uh, yesterday we got uh, tornado warnings going over our area. And uh, actually one touchdown, not like four towns away, so interesting. So I'm in the backyard, and uh, I got a Honda, uh, self-propelled Honda, 20-inch uh, deck. It's got uh, mulch, mulching blades on there, and then also a bag. And uh, every every summer or spring, I always plant my tomatoes and whatnot. The wife does actually. I do the, I do everything else. Not everything, but you know what I mean. Got to give the YL some credit. You know, they uh, they put up with our crap. But anyway, <laughs> to keep the weeds back instead of getting a sunburn, I just put my grass clippings in between the uh, in between the tomatoes and got some uh, sweet bell peppers over there and I don't know what happened last year we had uh, Brussels sprouts which came in good but this guy decided to come back but anyway so yeah so we put the grass clippings in uh, about a half inch or thicker when they get taller uh, uh, and it dries out it turns brown like you see in the back there and uh, eventually you know it's organic material there's nitrogen in the grass and that'll get into the soil and turn this dry arid looks like Arizona over here soil uh, hopefully someday into something better so it keeps the weeds back and uh, it works out for me so we got our maters in there I got my buddy's beets over there we got a big ass mint plant right there let's go around the side here see what's going on uh, not very well but we got lettuce coming in we're a little late this year on the gardening and amongst those weeds there's some spinach there and let's see here <laughs> amongst those weeds there we got a potato plant and we got some watermelon coming in. Uh, I got a weed, uh, as you can tell, some more potato plants coming in a little late here. That buddy you might recognize is catnip. Cats love that. And that one's a, I believe a citronella plant. Obviously you have to weed a lot, a ton, I understand. But we got provider beans coming in here. So I'm gonna weed, weed that later in the evening. So the nutrients and the water, excuse me, go to the provider beans. These are our uh, sweet snap peas. Uh, I think that's what they're called. And uh, they're doing really good. There's a yellow jacket. Oh crap, I'm out of here. And uh, <laughs> we got some more parsley and more weeding to do. Planted some rutabagas, but uh, they're not really coming in very well this year. That's fine. And the mint's going crazy. So yeah, that's this patch anyway. Thought I'd show you that. So a little tip for you. Put the grass clippings in between the plants. So you don't have to be out here sweating to death. We're spending five hours weeding, and you can just weed as you see them. This is Mike Cricket 113. Hope you guys have a good one. Enjoy the DX if there is any. I won't know until later. 7-3.